this will probably not pass inspection you can see there's uh, just this area here that these uh, brake pads actually hit and here is there's nothing uh, the problem is that even if we get new brake discs for this car and it's not that old as you can see here uh, it's not completely rusty uh, well the problem is that she doesn't brake hard enough so these ones will get rusty in a year and then we'll have the same problem next year uh, you can also see they have a gravel road where they live so uh, she will get a lot of dirt and stuff in there and they are a bit hard to turn so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this off and uh, uh, make sure this caliper is, is moving the way it should remove the brake pads make sure they are moving easily inside the uh, caliper and inside this caliper holder here this one here uh, then it will probably work great for a year or so so I'm removing these two screws here and since they are in this way you have to think a bit backwards uh, uh, then losing it will be that way uh, which uh, feels kind of unnatural because usually you know this is getting it in there oh Oops, you, you don't want to hang the caliper in the brake hose because that could uh, damage it. Now we turn kind of easily so these pads are not good but they do move. I think I, I, think I did this job last year. Yeah, they're a bit overheated. She needs new ones. But I'm gonna put this together because she needs to use the car tomorrow. So, and then order some uh, brake pads. But I'll clean this up also. I think it will, will work. I just checked prices on uh, parts for this and the new brake disc is 180 Swedish kroners, which is like uh, 18 uh, US dollars. So I'm not gonna do any grinding for that price. Uh, I'll order some new parts and replace this. Uh, I'm just gonna check the condition from. These ones look really good. They were worse than rear when I changed them, maybe two years ago, something like that. I got parts for the Hyundai, so it's time to change it. And I don't know how much she uses her car. Got spider webs there. Remove the wheel. Give it a few kicks. Remove the screw for the disc. Remove the cylinder body. Remove the mounting bracket. Remove the disc. Hit it with a big hammer. Put the new disc on. Insert the screw. Wipe the disc clean from oil. Remove all the rust from the mounting bracket. The rust expands. This makes the pads stick and that gives you uneven brakes. 
Install the pad clips. Install the pads. Make sure they can move freely. If you're not using OEM pads, you might have to file them down a bit to make them run easy in the pad clips. Use ceramic, grease or copper paste. Should use uh, silicone uh, grease for these uh, glide pins. Should move quite easily. Reassemble the mounting bracket. You can have the pads in there. These uh, wrenches, they cannot handle that much torque, so when you are doing the final torquing, torque, use a, like a solid one, not these, uh, because you will break them. Yeah. And there is a special tool to use for these calipers that has a built-in handbrake but I have found that you can if you don't have this special tool you can do is you use one of these wise grips to put some pressure on like that and then use one of these multi yaw So while you use this to put pressure on, and then you use this to screw it. Oh, Jesus. No, okay. Like that. You have to be careful not to damage this boot here. Everything is so rusty here, and rust is, it expands, so I have to clean the surface up a bit. When you turn the cylinder here in the caliper, you have to make sure that one of these, uh, you see there's like an offset, uh, there's this here, it will go you see the brake pad, there's like a small, I don't know, what's it called, like a pin here. When everything is together, it should be, you should be able to move the brake disc easily. Otherwise, it could have, could be that you, um, you haven't, retracted that uh, caliper cylinder enough. Make sure the wheel is turning freely. Mount the wheel. Use the correct torque on the wheel nuts. Always use a support, do not only use your jack stand. I don't know if you can see the difference, but this is the right side disc, and it's uh, a bit more dark than this side. Uh, it's probably will be hard to see in the camera, but from this very darkness, the, the dark metal, 
you can uh, you will understand that it's been overheated and if you look in here there's like see some spots here so this one has been really really hot this one not so much it was the brake pads they were stuck so they were on there all the time so it looks a little bit better all right all done uh, I did this work for my mother-in-law and uh, yeah I'm a good son-in-law but she is a good mother-in-law she pays me with beer ha 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 all right thank you for watching and uh, bye